Onivia League of Legends highlights. I, I don't dislike what DK have, but this is exactly the type of comp where one mistake immediately locks you out of the game because you have no <laughs> front line. Oh, this they hit two. Lahens gonna be does. So strong Lahens. Let's see if he can keep Pace safe, who has also hit level two. The stun is going to come in, and Pace in a lot of trouble. The max range handshake gets the job done, and it's first blood for aiming in the bottom. Up a level, about 18 CS, but I do think you don't contest this at Genji. I think it's nice that Genji are like, hey, poking and prodding, can we get something going? We can't. Completely fine. Get a blade in mid. If this were challengers. Oh, no. They, <laughs> we'd, we'd be already get tanky regardless. And yeah, I think the bigger part of that is that aiming is quite fed at the moment as the handshake is perfect from Kellen and Lahens is in a lot of trouble here might have to flash away from this one He will commit to it. Will he even live though as flash over the wall? The Merc Dread's not gonna help out in that case as Canyon is there and in fact Lahens survives So at the end of the day Gen G trading up in this one even with the Mercs not staying alive. Oh, uh -oh. Jovi. And they see him. Is it going to matter? The handshake is great once again, but Kellen is so incredibly low. He is going to get away as Jovi not quick enough. opening up the map in a huge way because King is just not here. Uh, I guess maybe trying to set up for a Rift Herald play, but Gen G's macro is so clean that they're like, okay, you want to set up. This would be really big for DK. It's not the best soul, but it's a soul point nonetheless. Showmaker has his ultimate available, but they're very late. I think this is already gone. It's Can gone. they find the fight? Uh, well, I mean, Lucid, Lucid, he's running get into the pit, but he's going to have to. Yeah, he's going to get it. Okay. Gets into the pit, smites it away, and Genji are like, all right, sure, take it away. We don't want to fight you right now. And a great job. The comp position yeah. at keeping you at, at arm's length and basically controlling a lot of space and saying, okay. Gets hit. It just shows the struggle. Like, it shows the struggle. Oh, oh god. Well, speaking of struggling, uh, there's no Fates Call, there's no Flash, there's no Kellen. Uh, he did survive there with the bait. The That's good, right? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta band together. Again. Oh, Chovy. So, yeah, you gotta try something. Chovy should have known that this was coming in. Now, Fate's Call is just all okay. right. Flash for flash. Trading flashes. I suppose that's good for DK. <laughs> As now, again, they're just keeping him at arm's length, and DK are like, well, we don't have Engage. We don't have a way to get in there. The ult comes down from Showmaker, and they're just being poked out. Has a lick. In the bush. Does happen once again. Canyon does get hand shook quite a bit as yeah, that's going to be the end of Kellen. That was your engage, I guess, as now here comes Canyon with the R button, gets the job done. Well, actually, he gets the job done to himself, just dies immediately. And that'll be the jungler of Gen G gone. But they still have the pressure, and they're still going to continue the push. All according to Canyon's plan, dying there guarantees the most amount of turn. No, it was, uh, <laughs> it was him, him uh, going ham on Vi, got flashed into the enemy team when he was uh, in his ult. But it doesn't matter. They don't need Baron. <laughs> <laughs> what is this game, but man? The, like, the, the Pana actually come through. Nicely done from Pays here as well, as walks out of the Equalizer, already has his ult at the ready, so he can't even auto-attack. Anyone in this team is Canyon. You know, we've all played by. We, we, we know what happens. Mm -hmm. Uh, speaking of which, he's going to do it again. Lucid this time flashes on in, and this time it makes sense. Able to get away, but look at this frontline king and just being murdered as he goes down quite quickly to the damage of the TF. And yeah. <laughs> oh, and that has been the game Maybe so this far. Is the one. All right. Well, we do have a very funny-looking handshake as now Jovi just going to sweep him up, and he just dashes away. But over the wall goes Showmaker. Will collect oh. the kill. And now this dragon is quite scary, but he dashes away, actually, as the follow-up does come in here, and the damage from Pays and from Keen is too huge, the range as well. Just going to shell like artillery over there, Tom Kench. Picks up a kill, and now he got the straight position, but is able to stopwatch, also doesn't get hit by the ult, and that uh, from Showmaker. And meanwhile, this time Canyon's going to send it, and you know what, he's kind of alone, as meanwhile on the top side, Keen, just getting on in there, they're gonna pick off Kingen, and yep. Canyon actually got out somehow. Yeah, that's TF. He got the Vower flip, and don't let DK get back in the game that way. Look, they can just push. Yeah, just get the inibs and not care. And you see DK, they're gonna try to force this one. Lahens though tanking up so much, and meanwhile they're doing more damage to the five stack of DK. 
As now yeah, can the end. Yeah, I think they're just going to stop the backs. As we do have the rumble, this is going to be smited down by Canyon. And yes, he gives his life, but he's giving his life to potentially win the game. And that is totally fine as the backs once again trying to come out here. We There's do no see TP. King in trying to get back into the base as a bunch of poking is coming down. Toby, meanwhile, is going to go down, though, as the bailout. Oh, no, he did get devoured, actually. As it will be Showmaker who gets taken out. And now Keen is here on the flank. He gives up the push in mid just to rejoin the fight after taking out two Nexus turrets. And even King and on the player cam is like, what are you going to do about that? He was laughing because they are getting run around the map here. Oh, boy. Yep. Flash over the wall. And Keen is going to take that kill, and you just regroup up in mid. I feel like the crowd is kind of stunned by what has happened here. It didn't feel like a normal game of League of Legends, as Gen G will take game number one. He's very strong on this patch of 14.6, and we've seen Chovy's Tristana is just kind of not fair, so I think that's fine as well. So I um, don't... Are they going to go for this? Looks like it. Lahen's got his heat in a good spot. And uh, Gaming and Kellen just going to respect it as in goes Candy. And it's level three and now he flashes in. Kellen going to flash away and now Lucid is here. As we have a three on three. Aiming stepping up to this one. Candy get pretty low. But the damage out of the rumble is huge as well as the Draven. Going to get another flash out of this one. As uh, meanwhile, they're denying all of these minions under the turret. He's going back in. All right, is he going to go for the play? He does not have flash. Lahenz is so low, but yeah, down he goes. Oh, man, the extension on the creep, and Lahenz will eat. Five. So he's pretty substantially behind the curve of where you'd normally be if you just were able to clear continuously. And Genji, as expected, will be able to pick up the early first dragon here. Buff steel. See Lucid as well, looking for a cross map. He's kind of not sure what to do here. They won't actually go for the Davis King in. Now the flash on in, and Keen is not going to respect it. Flashes, tries to get the kill on to King, but it will not happen. A 2v1 it does pan out pretty well for D plus in the top side, as now Kellen is left just to die. And uh, I guess he just couldn't get away from underneath that. Oh, now they know. <laughs> and they're like, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, boy. And now the equalizer comes down. The exhaust is huge, but Canyon with the three-man stun comes over the top from the top rope and just dunks on them, and there's the cash out for Paze. Oh, you know we're going to get him. We're already looking at 15. Uh, Sorry to make a play on top. All right, nicely Ooh. done. Perfect alley-oop over to the side of Showmaker, who is going to hit the charm. Sometimes oh God. Keen is now the hens is here. Uh, King, and remember, he's really low. Took two turret shots. He might be able to delay it. Lucid on his way with Flash and Ult. He has a lot of sustain. He oh. is going to make this a bit one-sided as the shutdown goes to the rumble. And Lahenz might fight the bullet for this one as now Keen trying to get in here, but the charm is huge. And now Toby shows up and is going to trade one. But <laughs> in this game, he really is being set up for success. King Un? Yeah. Again? Really? Actually hurts. No, I mean the Chemtech. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, clearly Ox is just, uh... Again? Just not trying. As now, Toby in a bit of a wonky spot, just being solo killed by... A year ago as... Oh, boy. It's the engage cone for Canyon. He gets on in, Kellen. Oh, nice bubble. Maybe going to be able to trade this one back with the TP. And in fact, they will. They're going to give that kill over to Aiming. Desperately needed it. But Hayes did pick up another kill. And I didn't even notice it. It's like going the opposite way. Either way, now it's Lucid against three, and... Just one cast from Kingen is not enough. Yes, it does some damage, but really not enough as the exhaust and the bubble. Has his ult not yet available. Yeah, this feels like a good time to fight, especially because Pay's not here at the moment. Tons of burst comes out from aiming, and it's stolen away by Lucid. This Rift Herald, and now they're going to pick up this eye as well. DK finding a lot of Throw value, in. and now Showmaker getting on in there. As Willie at the charm, yes, he will, right in front of Canyon, and down he will go, just like that. And Kellen got the kill. He did it! Showmaker killed Canyon! <laughs> oh, well, uh, Kellen got the kill, but I, I, I'm crediting, uh, crediting that to Showmaker as he goes in. Oh, the charm going to hit as well, and now Lucid, he is here on time. Might be traded back with the hands, but no, with Showmaker here, level 12. Go in. goes back in, and that's just going to be a trade of kills. Lahens just pick one up. On to lose. 
it's also like playing this game out as Pays is so hard as. Ooh, the hands not quite able to sidestep that one. Showmaker has just been a huge amount of burst damage with the AP Gragas already. As here is Showmaker going to get knocked away, but now Keen in a bit tr of trouble with Lucid here as well. Not able to sidestep that one. And it will be Showmaker to pick up yet another kill. For yeah, it really is just that. And Showmaker at this point is still incredibly fed, has 10 stacks on a Majai's as well. So um, maybe going to catch out Lahens here. He's going to be forced to flash. And he might still go, go down as now the damage is just too much over to the side of Showmaker. And that's just more stacks for him. Already, Chovy is beginning to do some insane amount of damage. Canyon. Uh, just going to get on in there and try to take out Kellen. But now Canyon is going to be burst to smithereens by the Ari, who is just owning this game. And now Lucid is left out to dry. That's another kill over the Draven. I think DK didn't want to risk his all oh, the pick. The chance. And it's just a flash. So we're just gonna elect to survive instead. But now trying to follow up on some damage. Decent amount of poke coming out here from Keen. No equalizer just yet from the side of Lahens. King and follow up coming in pays also, but gotta be careful for King and as you mentioned, as here comes Showmaker. But the charm this time is going to on in. Toby's like, wait, how are you there already? Uh yeah, yeah, I think he's just dead. I mean you press R, Showmaker's here, there's the charm, and Toby. Will go down at 700. We'll see some desist, uh, desist for uh, Lucid as now the damage is going to come out here from aiming. Lahens pretty big. low. Still has equalizer as this one will go the way of Gen G. They deny a soul and even get ahead on Drake's themselves. <laughs> Side lanes are real. No. It's fine. They just poke. All oh, right. Just get Toby. Just kill him. But no, the three man counter strike comes out from Cannon. Immediately trade it back though. It's now 4v4. In this game, and Showmaker's still alive, still doing insane amounts. And should have benefited on even... So hard to crack. Oh, trying to get on in there. They press the R button onto Chovy, and they take him out. The damage from the R A just too much. And there it is, a double kill now for Showmaker. As they get it done. That's the engagement we were looking for, as Showmaker getting very close to the sun is... Oh, man. Wait, return. Stasis. Oh. Woohoo! Just... Not quite Lucid? done just yet. Lucid on a ward, unfortunately for him. Oh, yeah, he thought he was fine because the control yeah. ward just outside the range. Showmaker! Here he is. That should be a dead Lahens. Down he goes. And the follow-up damage is not good from the side of Gen G. But Canyon gets that engage, but he's in alone. He's going to go down. And now the massive range ult. Paze is going to be caught by the entirety of D plus Kia. That will be the end of this game. As well, we'll have to wait and see Gen G. Chovy trying to stop the... Bottom lane and the and big wave. wave. There's no way. There's just no way, right? Chovy is going to live, but they could just push mid and end the game. As flash forward from Kellen, he's not even going to get the kill. Okay, um, guys, you can just end the game. You can just win. Just and, win, and that they will. Oh boy, Showmaker, showing up huge here. They on the R. And they end? I mean, they should be able to, right? Yeah, no, no, they'll, they'll be able to. Yeah, okay. The Nexus. Jeez. We're fine. You never knew until the Nexus was gone, and there it is. Seen with a little bit less success. Does give you more prio in the lane, but it has not been as successful outside of it. And I think also doesn't really. Not Tiger. Is as the, the official name of it. Kellen does it to Flash. A play here on a Jovi. This is up by and Ari. This is what you do. You get in, you press your R button on the mid laner. And then you dash in and they can't get away. Toby, he Valkyries, he flashes. It does not matter. And that will be first blood over to D plus Kia. Can't believe he didn't outplay that. Uh, kind of kind of shameful from Trophy on Yeah, honestly, face. yeah, he's just not on this game today. <laughs> Unlucky. As this is why Vyari is a strong combo already. And it's, it's Showmaker picking up the kill as well. And I really love that because I think for Vi, the amount of extra scaling that you do as Lahens, you are. Uh... I mean, maybe he gets a flash? He's really trying for it. Oh, no, what? he's just going to get the kill. OK, you do have to flash, though. <laughs> uh, Showmaker's like, like, surely he doesn't do this. Lance is like, no, 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 I'm doing this. Trust me. Not an all out. And a play on the top side, no equalizer anymore. Uh, but there is a Sejuani here. Canyon also with no Glacial Prison. And this is an Udir. A lot of damage being done, though, by the side of Keen, and now King is pretty low on the play, and the stacking of the permafrost doesn't even really matter. They just had the damage to get Oh, the collapse coming on in, and uh, Showmaker not exactly winning that trade, so he's going to be zoned away, and that's going to be the Drake over to them, and it's a third chem.
too many opportunities to get that happening. As Kingen, he's tanky. Can he live against three people again? Uh, no, the answer will be again no, as Lehens this time will once again pick up the kill and is now 3-0 on a rumble. Lehens getting monstrously fed here. Lucid uh, going a little bit far forward there. They won't even be able to actually get it. Great job from Keen there. Good response as DK look for the cross map. But it doesn't end up leading to too much. It's going to be first turret while probably going over to Gen.G here as well. So they get the kill. They got first turret blood. They deny the mid lane turret being taken, so the Herald doesn't get that much value. He's aiming. Aiming, running on forward. He is so fast. So difficult to get away from this one. His pace is now Lehens on the run as well. And yeah, he's just going to be locked down. Not the disengage cone. Okay. Oh. It's a shutdown going to aiming on Zeri. Maybe a bit of a. Mini Zeri moments there. What I imagine will happen. Probably pushes bot side and then TPs towards top as Soul Point's gonna get taken. But realistically, uh, Soul going over to Gen.G doesn't mean that much. Especially not, like obviously Cassante is gonna be a nuisance as a. Uh, uh, not oh a. The value of this buy has been so insanely big and into immobile uh, carries like Rumble, and like. The turret going over to Gen.G up on the top side of the map. We have Pays there in the ruler spot, but he's like, I, I don't trust this. I'm not a... Uh, <laughs> oh, no, never mind. Never mind. We get the uh, Omega healing anti-action. Banana brush. <laughs> I can't walk in. Yeah, and with the package held now, trying to get in on top of Jovi. The first damage is not there, and Showmaker on the flank trying to take up Pays here. They're low. It's pretty close, and with the Zeri, he's going to get the pick off. Showmaker does it again. He lives. And that pushes them away. So many low health bars here on the side of Gen G, and this Zeri still full health. He tries to get the pick. It's not going to happen. Again, it's a Zeri as the spike does go the way of Canyon, though. That is Kemtech Solvent aiming, looking to have his moment. He wants to get his stamp over the wall. Oh! He goes, flashes into two of them. And will take out the one Joby desperate. And he's just going to Valkyrie away to his death. There's a double kill, 6,000 damage for aiming. And D plus win the fight. And even with aiming's ult timing out mid fight, he was still able to do the damage. For uh, as, as long as Pace doesn't uh, make it close, it should be fine. And then we'll be able to pick it up. And that is a trade, I think, as DK. Try to get a big gold advantage before the Elder Drake spawns in four and a half minutes. Now, though, last game we saw. Not the oh, oh the Keen card comes in and now Keen. Yeah, he's real tanky. Doesn't matter as he immediately gets burst down. The rest of the team not even there to help him. And D plus Kia. Look at this team right now. No one is that tanky as the poke from aiming strikes true. Uh, they don't have a wave, though. <laughs> now, Kingen also extremely tanky. Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. That was quite a lot of damage from the side of Toby. Man, the frozen heart Koenig Rooker made. Indeed, he doesn't push that fast. Also, he needs to soak damage in the front line here for his team. You want to try and time out this package. And the poke is not landing. Well, well I say that and it immediately lands. King in, in the front line, he's being burst. And they don't quite get through the redemption. This time is right on time, but over the wall goes Toby. Gosh, immediately, no. oh, he's doing so much damage with that equalizer and that should be enough as Gen.G routing them, but now on the Dragon is aiming. Might be able to finish this off. Wait, can you go in? Uh, yeah, yeah, he just has Smite. Okay, I guess that's it. That's just the way the game ends. Elder Drake is taken by Gen.G, and the game will end. Aiming doesn't matter if he doesn't have a team to help well, him out. So, wait, we're, we're 31 uh, seconds in, and they need to push for everything. I, with five people, though, you got to imagine that they're going to be able to. They have Elder for 15. over two minutes with the four Elemental Drakes. I mean. I, yeah, this is, oh. It's just a clean ace! There, you saw the attempt loosen and Showmaker try to flip it around on Chovy, and it doesn't work. They just end up going down. There's not enough space. Lucid, Showmaker are gonna be coming in. But I, I don't think they can defend here. I mean, Lucid's a vi, like he's just gonna be burned to a crisp. There's right Elder Drake, and one by one, uh, yeah, they might be able to get lands here. Maybe. Okay, they do, but yeah. Just, Waves here. They just uh, don't have an Nexus. Do it. That's going to do it. The Elder fight is won by Gen G, and so will the game be. Two to one now in I Absolutely love this. Oh, man. I, I've been waiting. This uh, Two patches ago, Urgot was immensely broken. Feldus looks at me because he's game five. Because he. Cause he <laughs> no, no. I don't think either team is going to be looking to do a whole lot before level six. Uh, I mean, Gen G is not looking to do anything. 
Oh. I mean, we're here. He bought a full Sunfire. <laughs> wow. I guess he just needed a little bit of extra money as now the flash on in from Lucid. Canyon in a lot of trouble. You can't get away from the Vi as uh, desperate to get over to the right side, but he is absolutely dead. Their only question is who they give the kill over to. Lucid, don't take it away from Showmaker. Not I, sure why he did that, but uh, okay. I, I assume that was the call. Like, there was no reason for him to, to queue there. Wonder why the Starex, uh, Jack shows obviously really good onto Urgot as well. As uh, Ernie Drake and <laughs> Velas just knows everyone. <laughs> just calling. I did initially say it was Hextech. Uh, ooh. Chovy. Oh, she rather doesn't die. Right? Yeah. Like, never, ever. And I feel like if you look at Keen, it's just a black clay. Uh oh, uh -oh. Pace! Any face checks here as Pace is in a lot of trouble calling to the face, aiming. Gonna take him out with a little bit of help from Kellen. As a very nice oh, god, Zeri. And if Lahans. That's all he said. If, if Lahans <laughs> is on the other side of the map, like Pace dies there, because uh, if I was already roaming over. But Lahans was actually on his way. Um. Can they actually kill the Urgot here? I mean, the lockdown from the Leash, perhaps, as Redemption also coming in. Not quite fast enough from Lahens. Nice try, though. What is going to be the setup here? We do see DK looking aggressively for a pick, but this is the Genji comfort zone just pushing. I think you just need to pull the trigger on the objective. And it's also, as we know, very obnoxious once you get out of lane because you just don't die. And it has a lot of utility, unlike And these. pick themselves up a turret and a whole lot of damage <laughs> onto Pace. Yeah, he's... He's still trying to scale. He, he's not being given many opportunities. Meanwhile, down at the bottom side, by and LeBlanc put two and two together once again, and they take out Jovi in the side lane. Mid jungle 2v2. Coming up big here for DK. Lucid and Showmaker. These side lane picks so pivotal as it allows them to pick up a turret there. More way. Genji should contest. I think you should let this one go. Well, they're going to try Lucid going for the blue buff. He's immediately going to be taken away and topped up by the Urgot. And that's going to be the end of that. That gives a chance now for Noticing just yet, but it's pretty slow with only two. Now aiming gets over the wall. Now they know, but now. they don't have a great way to keep uh, Kenyon out. There is no... Wait, wait he can't flash. Uh, okay, it's just gone. Yep, DK got to... Still just waiting on seeing how much value they oh are going to get out of this push. And yeah, aiming is supremely fed at this point in time. Meanwhile, the split push Rek'Sai. They, they, they're actually using it in free lanes. Feldas, they're learning right in front of our eyes. A 1-3-1 one, one out of D plus Kia with Baron, with the Baron buff. Uh-oh. Uh oh Pace, that's a little slow down. That's the end of the Zeri in uh, just the span of a half a second. Down goes Pace. And now they can group up in mid. They can take out this inhibitor. They can rotate bot, take out that one. I smell the silver scrapes coming on here now. That's two inhibitors down. The Rebel Baron power play further extending. They might even try to push if someone makes a mistake. Like, and try and look for even more here. At the very least, should try and play for triple. <laughs> the enemy. The only one that like really has to try to, to do anything is Showmaker. He does have some aimable abilities, yes. As uh, Tidal Wave over the top, it's a bubble, and DK are like, nope, 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 we are running away. Toby has other ideas, though, as there it is! They are going to take out the Nami, but that's just the Nami. Can they kill Rek'Sai? Nice. Have they overextended? Kingen is dead! And two pickoffs for the side of Gen G, with Baron up in 40 seconds. Guys! Okay, it's fine. There's two nips down uh, for, for another minute and a half. I don't think they can actually play for Baron here. Uh, King and STP as well. A pick would be absolutely, absolutely huge. Lucid has flash and ult. Aiming's there as well. Oh, they know where he is. They're going to they're gonna try and go for this, 100%. Yeah, the things are coming in, and oh god, Toby trying to get so far away, but with three members, they take out Toby. And the pick is successful right before the Baron. Fish food is used to take down King and. But I don't think it's going to matter, Valdis. I think Silver Scrape is coming up. <laughs> There's only one lane left. And DK aren't wasting too much time with this one. As they push on forward, the poke is coming out. That's three inhibitors down now. But the other two are coming up here in about 10 seconds. We do see D plus Kia trying to rotate. Yeah, they don't want to walk. All flashes are up outside of Lahens, and I don't think his is the one you're afraid of. Ah, oh, there it is. Aiming 
ready to press his buttons, takes him out, excellently timed and aimed. Calling, and that'll be the end of Canyon and the end of the three inhibitors. They slowly but surely push in to these Nexus turrets and are looking to bring us to Silver Screams. <laughs> three inhibitors down. Very slowly. Very slow. Extremely surely. We are not taking any risks, Feldes. We are playing it safe. Yeah, and no reason to as the flash away from Keen and the engage comes in. There's the Zeri with the ult. Both Nexus turrets are down. They take out the Vi. And they will hold on to their Nexus for now. Down will go Rek'Sai is Keen. Also going to survive once again. Okay, guys. We either commit or we don't. Uh, okay, TP. Like, you have full health bars on these three members. TP. If Kian and Lucid go in, you have to commit. Toby is committing. He is not going to be let down. Takes away the Nami, but only the Nami. Okay, there's no way. Oh, yeah. Showmaker should be able to make it out. Uh, yes. He I doesn't have distortion, does. and he's spotted. Over the wall he goes. Mimic is up in like two seconds. Okay, he's going to hop back and just to choose to oh! take out the hands. Okay. The heal from Crip Bloom. <laughs> he's still going to die. Kian's going to find him. Oh, not the plant. Oh, God. And, okay, they finally get it done. Okay. Meanwhile, I, I, it shouldn't matter, Valdez. Truly, the game is just over, right? Three inhibitors are down. Three inhibitors are down. It shouldn't matter. They shouldn't. Aiming, just stay alive. Wait for the rest of your team. You have triple <laughs> in it. Do not try to take this. It's just a dragon. It's just a dragon. Pretend to be a turret. He's very good at that. And then the rest of the team just pushes <laughs> with the mid wave. Uh, we're fighting. Uh, we're going to try to fight into aiming. Lucid and Showmaker Nexus. and Kingen are just sending it into the Nexus. This isn't enough. I'm not so sure. The autos are coming in. The sweep oh, away. And Showmaker so low. And the last couple of autos will get it done. People DK around objectives, even how they ended. The final game that we just came out of has been a bit shaky. Not want to get caught off guard. Not want to be surprised by a gank of the Sejuani. Genji just trying to maintain an even lane state. As all oh, Red White really trying to pressure this one as the flash comes in. Immediate cleanse and flash out of aiming. But now we've got Toby and he's up against the wall. Aiming will go down. And Kellen as well. Ooh, he's going to land it. Pace goes down to him. Definitely not what you were. At the other game where he played Zeri, it was game three where they kind of lost it against Package. And yeah. that was an aiming's fault. <laughs> um, here we go. Alt's going to be utilized here as immediately Pays and Lens TP. just turn tail, but now TP coming in. A lot of damage already done to Pays and Lens. He's just going to cleanse here away from the root as now Toby goes over the wall. And now aiming is in a lot of trouble, gets knocked into the rocks. And now Kellen left for the fishes as well. Double kill over to Chovy, who's making his presence felt in the bottom lane yet again. Chovy being the difference maker in this one. Uh, I haven't finished my sentence or the cost of curse strikes. Aiming and cannon look for the 2v2. <laughs> You're never getting away. And then also really nicely done. You get the wild growth into knockback combo. Guaranteed CC, so no way to outplay that. You can't walk your way out of that one. Yeah, like Showmaker has done many a time. And now Showmaker's getting in there. Again, he's pretty tanky. The Lucid all comes through and Toby gets shut down. The kill will go over to Lucid. It's now Canyon running away from the Zeri. Tons of damage coming out from the C plus comp. Chovy holding his flash there because he wants Showmaker to flash. And as long as Showmaker isn't flashing, looking. But uh, he's already underneath his turret. You can try to go for this, but it is a bit risky unless he face checks, which he doesn't lose it. Lucid just going for a. Uh... <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> he's just gallivanting out there on his Poro. Here we go. Gonna get that engaged, but immediately Canyon is going to get cleansed. And now with the wild growth, should be okay. As here comes Chovy over the top, Lucid in a bit of trouble. The knockup comes in and the stun as well, but now Showmaker. Showmaker jumping into the back line. Might be able to take a pace, not quite able to, but here's Kingen looking for the back line. And the fight extends. This is where D plus Kia, they will thrive. As meanwhile, Showmaker just being bullied by Keen. And the kite back comes through from the side of Gen G. Nobody else will die. Somehow it's just a one for one trade. If DK just started up though, like get mid and then run towards that dragon. Oh, man. and they're gonna get in the mid tier. I'm not sure why Keen is watching them do it. Uh, he's not gonna steal it on Cassante. Uh, there is Infernal Soul points given over to the side of D plus Kia. To be getting some value in the top lane, but not going to feel nearly as good as what DK are getting as the wall is going to come down, but they just move away. But it is going to secure mid tier one here for Genji as well. So Genji, the extended trade, end up getting two turrets 
I don't like that's that's as good as a trade as I'm gonna get. I do think. And there's a Talia in the vicinity. Jovi okay. has been doing a great job of making his presence felt. But look at this, Lahens caught out on the left side. He's gonna wild growth himself and try to run away. Slowed. Slow comes down and he is dead. Flash on in from Amy. He is not messing around. A showmaker gets the pick on the pace, but they can't get to the back line. Lucid pretty low as Keen trying to do to Kn will not go down. Finally gets taken out, but they have not dealt with showmaker or aiming who are still on the chase canyon looks like he is totally going to be left out here and right okay yeah, he's dead they down he goes they, they give the kill to showmaker i think they try to give the kill to aiming and they're like let's let's take him down we, we need to make sure available here for gen g with a single overstep and if dk ever commit to a fight and don't actually kill as uh -oh. all oh, they know <laughs> they gotta know they gotta know right no they don't quite know as canyon shows up big but the damage is not taken out aiming they finally get it done as showmaker he needs to be the carry now but toby's in the back line the damage is being done but look at king and flashing on top of the talia might be able to do the keen it's going insane mode in that back line himself and the knockout comes in from toby to seal the deal on the team fight that's a team fight win there for Gen G. Chovy doing absolutely all. Chovy. Maybe go for this, but. He knows. I, and DK, they don't have the position. Yeah. I, uh, well, maybe. Uh, okay, Lucid. Doesn't get over the wall. But I, Can they do this fast enough? Is really oh, the next know. question. And. Are we going to flip? Surely. There is a rel. It's Lucid. not really a flip. He's going to put his nose in there. We do have a wall that is put down. The glacial prison gone. And now the engage coming over the wall, aiming into that back line. Excellent dash away and flash from this one. And now the chase comes in. Toby in a lot of trouble. The Moonlight Vigil does nothing. And now Kingen is going to be grabbed over the wall. And Showmaker out. And Showmaker makes the play. Gets over the wall. But now he's going to go down. Amy's alive, though. And once again, we reset. It's 3v3. And nobody can do nothing the Nothing happens. Nobody can do the oh, hit. Yeah. There is vision of this. They do know this is happening. As DK, once again, they threaten a fight. Wall is going to come down. Tovi is safe. The ult goes wide, and Gen G will pick up the Baron. Here comes Aiming on the follow-up, though. The flank comes in from Kingen. Not the best flank, as now Canyon going in alone. Kingen! The massive damage in that back lane. They don't get off the pace, though, as Showmaker stopped in his traps, and he will not get a significant knockup. And now Aiming has to do it 1v4. He might be able to. He might just be able to, and he gets over the wall. They know they're down a member. Gen G, they're gonna win the fight barely, and they get the Baron. And, uh, man, Gen G, they, they must feel pretty good about the way things went, all things considered. I mean, you get a Baron, you get another Infernal, and you've got this wall coming up here. And looking to catch out Lucid, kind of an awkward spot for him. He is going to be 100 to zeroed. And that giant Cassante, nobody can shoot through that. And here comes the push. They still have the Baron buff for a minute. Might even try to look for the ends. Aiming does have his flash available. They have McKills. Is it enough though? Kingen doesn't have a Surreal does yet. We'll see if Genji wants to run the risk. Because if you overextend here, end up getting wiped. Counter punch could be lead. A big tipping point. Jovi though, most damage in the game. By a decent margin as well. Again, the walls have just been game changing. Well, every time that loose chip away at the inips could be really big. These type of positions, though, this is dangerous. We've seen teams lose being disrupted. Look at the look at the vision control here. They get a trinket in, and yeah. DK say no. We don't want to fight over this. The, the problem is because the wave in top isn't shoved in. Like they, the the rather is shoved in for Gen G. Gen G can just rotate towards top. They don't actually need to hard commit for this soul, but it looks like with the TP, uh -oh. DK are gonna try and make it work. Pace taking a lot of poke already. Yeah, already taking a bit as they're gonna go all in on to Lucid. That's not the target. The Moonlight Vigil is pretty good though. As Redemption does come in, aiming and getting so low. extremely low on that backside. Oh, the knockup comes in on the King and he's flashing away. He knows what it means if he gets caught, but the Cassante, you can't get away from him. And down will go King and the team just will not commit on the side of DK. They're just gonna it give comes. another Drake over the side of Gen G. Aiming's too low. There's no way that's going to be for Drake going over. Oh, if, if they come back, they might just be able to end up with this. Yeah, they can't back. Showmaker totally caught here. No! Flash Polymorph, he is done for. Is that it? That might just be it. Unfortunately, this game might just be decided. 
by this series of plays in a row. Lucid is on the run. Oh, what an anticlimactic end that will be. Lucid trying to clear the wave there, but the TP doesn't let him. Oh, they're going to try and go for a Hill Mary. Try Zeri. and look. <laughs> but I, I don't know if you're going to uh, actually be able to get one. Doesn't look like it. Yeah. Zeri's still alive, but... 34 seconds. I don't know if they can hold here. I that might just be it. Seen Zeri Yumi do some crazy things in my life. But I don't think that it can do this one. Eight seconds on Kingen. Do you have enough time? Do you have enough wave clear to make it through no. and survive? Pays moving forward. Keen trying to tank up now, just going to assassinate onto the Zeri. But now, here comes Kingen, and the flash away is going to do it. Kingen had to flash away in the last fight. And now aiming. He's alive. He's still trying to stay this one, but it's not going to matter. The Nexus goes down, and Gen G will win game number five.